If you've just tie-dyed a piece of fabric, it's important to rinse it out carefully before you wash and wear it for the first time. After you've allowed the dye to set for 2 to 24 hours, rinse the dyed item under cold water, leaving the strings or rubber bands in place. Keep rinsing until the water runs clear, which may take as long as 20 to 30 minutes depending on the size of the item and how much dye you used. Next, remove the ties and spread the dyed fabric out. Rinse the item again under water that's warm, but not so hot that it could scald you. Keep rinsing for 5 to 20 minutes, or until the water runs clear. When you're done rinsing, lay your fabric out on a large piece of plastic wrap to protect the surface underneath until you're ready to wash it in your washing machine. Set the washer on a normal cold water cycle and load your tie-dyed fabric in with no more than four other tie-dyed items. If you're worried about the colors bleeding a lot, you may wish to wash each item separately. For top-loading your machines, use a sudsy Synthropol-based detergent, since these are more effective than other detergents for washing out excess dyes. However, use regular detergent for front-loading machines to avoid creating a flood of suds. The next two or three times you wash the item, use warm or hot water instead of cool. The first few times you wash your tie-dyed fabric, peek into the washing machine during the rinse cycle to see if there's still any excess dye washing out. Once the water starts running clear during rinse cycles, you can begin washing the item along with your other clothes without fear of stains. Check the tag on your fabric for the best way to dry your tie-dyed item. If it's delicate or prone to shrinking, let it air dry or tumble dry on a low heat setting. Otherwise, it's usually fine to dry tie-dyed fabrics in the dryer with the rest of your clothes.